Hello, hello, it's Rika Kovasin here again. This time I'm using the same or similar, let's say, background and I'm making two art journaling projects. Not so long ago I kept a Facebook Live where I was pondering whether to use this or that as a focal point. Now thinking back, I think it was rather to use one focal point or many, <laughs> but this time when I set out to do this video, I didn't remember that correctly and ended up doing a group photo and a single one. But hey, it's still a nice video, I hope. I'm starting the project the same way as I did the live projects in a way, because I'm making a solid piece of card stock by using acrylic paints, but also a stripey one. For the solid, I just add the paints on top using a couple of different ones to make it a little bit eclectic. But for the stripey one, I first add another color, let it dry and then use washi tape to make the stripes on top. I then add the another color on top, again let it dry before moving the tapes and thus revealing the stripey look. I'm using these two cardstock as my base for both of the projects. When I then had the pattern papers, let's say, the background pieces done, I cut them to the size fitting inside my journals and added them to two similar journals. The other one I used the solid on top and the stripy one in the bottom part and the other one I kind of flipped the design over and used the stripy one on top and the solid one on the bottom. But otherwise I'm then treating the both backgrounds the same way. The next thing I then added is some white pencil doodling here and there just to add a little bit more visual texture to the background and then I added some black stamping. So again it's the two opposite ends of the spectrum. Just some white to clear things up and a little bit of black to add a little bit more contrast. And as you can see I used the two things on both of the journals. As a final background thing I also added some white splashes to both of the pages. Again this brings a little bit more that light to them both and I do like to add splashes to my projects. After that I then show first the other project and then the other one because I'm building two compositions. So let's start with the one focal point. Well actually there's going to be two because it's a spread and I'm adding the main focal point let's say to the right hand side but also adding um, another composition to the left side, kind of balancing the two out a little bit. I'm using similar elements to both of these makes, so I hope that that gives you the idea how I build the composition. It's all about the main point and highlighting that and then going around by doing that. The both focal points need some kind of a background. Well, I do have a background in there, like the journal background, but I feel that they need some kind of a backing element and I'm using a tag for that. To bring everything together, I'm inking around the tag with a blue ink and also added a little bit of blue visual texture to that. So it's bringing that blue in to the focal point as well. When I'm building a composition, I usually use a stapler to adhere the layers because that way I can then tuck in elements in the later stage because everything isn't secured right to the edge. That allows me to change my mind a little bit and to add little elements to make the composition fuller in a later stage because I don't think that much ahead. I'm more like going with the project, going with the flow and letting the project lead me in a way. So I'm just adding a few layers and then securing them to the page because I know that I can then make the project fuller, make the cluster fuller, lead the eye in, in a later stage. Also what that makes me do is to work around because 
When all the elements are loose in the page, you have a gazillion possibilities to layer them to the page. So in my book, it's then easier to put something down and work around rather than keeping all of the options available. And then you kind of drown underneath all those options, if that makes any sense. I first add the bigger elements to either side of the spread and then work around it like I said. So I'm then adding these little elements to highlight the cluster, make it more interesting, make it more dimensional. And I'm doing the same thing with the bo both layouts. So color wise, the compositions are following the kind of a neutral scheme of, of things. I do add some black details as well and keep those quite close into the center focal point because the bigger the contrast the more it allures the eye in and because I want the persons to be the main key element I then need to guide the eye in to those places. Whenever I'm building a composition I'm telling a story in my head. It might not be visible in the end result <laughs> as such. But normally I then add some kind of words that highlight the theme I have going in in my head when I'm building the layers. It's usually just these little strips of text that then give a glimpse to the story that I've been telling to myself when, when making the project. That's the finishing touch for these two spreads as well just adding a little bit of text stickers here and there to tell a story. And then there they are. Two ready art journaling spreads with the same background, but a little bit of different composition. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. And I hope I'll be seeing you within a week with another video. I got a new video editing program in the beginning of the year. So these are the first videos I'm doing with it. So it's a little bit of a learning curve still. So I hope you excuse me for that. Thanks again. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Bye.